Hey guys, Tricky Boy here once again. Welcome back to the Palmer Save on Tw Football Manager 2015. Been a few weeks since I've actually done anything with this as regards recording, but we've been playing games. Um, not a lot, not as much as what I wanted, so um, that's a disappointment, but hey. We are eight games into the season, guys. Um, as you can see here, we're top of the table by one point. Goal difference is looking really nice. Um, played eight, won seven, drawn one. I'm going to go through this result slightly here because it was a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance, really. Um, I'll explain it in a second. But the reason I'm doing an update here, I was going to do every ten games, but what I'm thinking is the next game against Albino Leffy, or however you pronounce them, um, it's going to be a live comp. Um, the reason it's going to be a live comp is because I know for a fact. Those guys were a Serie B team for such a long time, um, and uh, obviously I know of them. They, you know, they're not exactly unknowns in Italian football. So it's the only really team that I know in this division properly. So we're going to play a game against them. It's going to be full live con for the next episode, but I just thought I'd do an update before just so we know what's happening. So okay, fixtures first. Let's go schedule. Here we go. So. We played our first game here, which we obviously won 4-1, as we saw. Now, as you can see, every single result in between here is really, really good, until we get to this one. So, this game, I kind of think it's my fault, slightly. It was against this team here. I'm not going to try and pronounce half these names. Borgo Cessia, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. But, as you can see, we were winning here. Penalty, Nicola Pozzi, and this happened, which really got on my nerves. Um, the reason it became so annoying it was because I was actually asked if I wanted to postpone this game because we had three players caught up to under 21s. Um, Bonner's only being one of those guys. Um, and, you know, I really should have taken the postponement, but I thought, Do you know what? We're in Serie D, we've got a good team. I should be okay. Turns out, no, not so much. So that that sort of went against me, but you know we're doing we're doing well we're doing really well we should be walking this division if we're going to be honest we should be absolutely walking this division, and this guy right here, this guy right here look at this, seven games fifteen goals an average rating of eight point eight nine which is just insane, it's craziness we've got Potsy kicking in a few goals here as well. Insigne obviously played eight games, scored six goals, so my front three are doing really, really well. Um, you know, I'm really happy with the way that they're playing so far. Um, where to go to next? Squads, I guess. Let's go take a look at my... Because it's changed a few. A few. Transfer history. Obviously, we know who we've brought in. Now, let's go all the way down to the multiple, multiple millions of people that have gone. These guys right here have left recently um, you know they've moved for many different reasons a lot of them I don't have a choice these bottom three here though have completely just sort of sold me out almost they whinged about not playing first team football um, I tried to convince them otherwise and they just decided to say do you know what no we're not we're not playing so you know these guys have kind of, it says it says free transfer because that's I don't have a choice really I can't sell them um, they just leave for nothing. So these guys instantly complained about not playing games. And we've got Lucas Souza here, who is a substitute. If I'm going to be honest, he's played. He's been on the bench twice, or he's come off the bench twice. 24-year-old defensive midfielder. Do you know, he's not. He's pretty good. He's not amazing. But this guy came to me and said, "You know, I'm not playing first-team football. I want to play more games." I just said to him, "Look, there's a lot of football in the season. You know, wait your chance almost." And he actually came out and said, I can make your life here very difficult. So, out of principle, this guy is going. Um, we don't want anything like that in our, in our club, really. That would not be good for me. Um, regarding the other two teams we've got, you know, I don't know how the... I've not even really been paying attention to these that much. I don't know how they are doing. I probably should be looking at these guys more, to be honest. But, you know, we've got a few good performers in here, strikers-wise. This guy here made his debut for Panama. Um, scored on his debut, which was good. But I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be using him that much, to be honest. Because it's not really what I'm after. So, let's just take a quick look again at the schedule. We've got this game here. We're going to do live. Albino Leffy. 
where else are we going to go? I, I think that may be our only live games of the season at the moment, unless we get somebody in the cup, which we still are in. As you can see here, we won 5 0. We go second or third round, should I say, here. Not not too far away. So if we get somebody good in the cup games, then we'll do that too. But really, we're trying to power through this season, get the promotion that we deserve, and move on. Once we get into Serie C and Serie B, then you know we, we should be looking good. But for now, this is what we have to deal with. Anyway, guys, that'll do for this one. Nice short little update, if you like. And uh, we'll get into the Albino Leffy game next. So uh, hopefully you come back and watch that and you enjoy the series. If you are, a like would be much appreciated. Helps me out. Shows you want, obviously want to support me. And uh, obviously liking my content. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you again next time.